What's up people, this is Deathbringer here and welcome back to some more Black Ops 2 epic rushing on search and destroy because that is what I like to do for you guys running about today on the map hijacked a very compact small spaced map um, I've discussed this many many a time it's just so much fun gets voted up a lot in lobbies and you know just a lot of people enjoy it and once again you see me with this um, special MP7 loadout that I like to use um, in most of the high killing gameplays that I get. Um, I actually want to discuss this today as you've seen a lot of it from me and I know a lot of people feel that the MP7 is sort of underpowered and I personally myself had these had these concerns about this submachine gun in the beginning of Black Ops 2. This was because coming from Modern Warfare 3 um, we had this perception that the gun was extremely powerful extremely accurate you know you could outgun people at many different ranges long and and short distances you could outgun assault rifles basically it was an overpowered weapon in modern warfare 3 you cannot deny that nobody can deny it and well coming to this game from that it's clear that Treyarch tried to sort of balance the weapons you know there's a whole different sort of um, dynamic dynamics system <laughs> couldn't get my words out there whole different dynamics to sort of contend with within black ops 2 um you know all the guns seem to have their own little purposes they can all outgun each other it's just who gets in the positions who gets in the right places at the right times so let's get into this class loadout then all right then this mp7 class loadout specifically i built it around rushing um so let's kick it off then. Uh, the attachments that I'm running are the silencer, the FMJ, and the laser sight attachment. Laser sight attachment is absolutely fantastic for hip firing. I can get my shots off quicker. I can be um, extremely accurate, as you see in there. I'm just taking out people, and throughout this game, you see I get in close situations where I probably could have died, but with the laser sight, it acts as steady aim, steadies out, steadies out them bullets, and gets them pinpoint on target. Um, FMJ to shoot people behind cover, take them out, um, and I also feel that FMJ sort of increases the the damage a tiny tiny bit i know a lot of people don't agree with that but i just something mentally um goes in my mind um i do feel like they drop even if it's one or two bullets faster than normal that's just my opinion on that guys tell me what you think um silencer for keeping myself elusive off the radar being able to flank all right then so the perk set up um, lightweight and extreme conditioning pro for obvious reasons, running about the map, rushing to the opposite side, flanking, um, very, very useful guys. Flight jacket pro to protect me from bouncing betties, survived a couple of bouncing betties during this gameplay. Um, I think it can also protect you sometimes from hunter killers and RCXDs, good for protecting you against grenades, semtexes, etc, very, very good. Um, toughness is absolutely useful, very crucial, um, reduces the flinch of your weapon um, virtually to nothing um, when people are shooting at you. I'll be getting them shots on target, you'll be getting them shots on target, you'll be winning more at gunfights guys. So that's basically the setup, if you want to see it visually click on the link in the description, coming to the end of the gameplay now, this is the primary gunfighter setup that I like to use a lot, I don't really concentrate on um, concussions or you know, um, flash grenades or whatever it might be, shock charges, um, grenades. I like the weapon to do everything for me. And if you put yourselves in the right positions, guys, hopefully you can use this MP7 class setup to your advantages. Thank you for watching. This was 15 kills on the map hijacked. I'll see you other people and have a nice day. What does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000!